I was before I came to began I came to the US. It was about my like me say comment subscribe to come make our TV. It's an say yeah no. Yeah just she. I was before if it's an right by now they gonna go away home. Then you know they say an annual day confrontation with my mom. They are going to attack. They bully on one and I'm so ma police officer Ashley Nkwanya ya ya. And a day, they are because they put Danny Muno and they are my call so. And so I'm going to take that as a media. I'm going to come here fast for your born and money. But I'm going to more remember your part. But money is here. You're not in some work. I'm going to come here and I'm going to say I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to come here. I went for a program I was doing. So when I closed from there, I decided to call him. But the number wasn't going through. But at 12... I called him that, oh, daddy, please, I'm done. I, I thought I can't finish, but I'm able to finish. So they said I should pay 150 cities for the biometric. So can you please send it to me? And he told me, okay. Then he called me back and told me that the network is not good, so I'll send it to you later. So within 10 minutes time, he called me and told me I've sent it. And because I was in a hurry, I don't want to go and come and come. So I just said, okay, thank you. Then I just went to withdraw the money and I went to do the biometric. So at 1.40 I was done and I was coming home and I said, let me call and check up on him. He didn't pick. So I was thinking sometimes when they are with the Boulogne van like that, he says that he doesn't want to make a call because he always sees that place to be high risk and he's always saying my duty is is risky and i'm risking my life every day he tells me just because of you guys i have to risk my life for you so anything that i give you please try and manage know how to manage so he didn't pick so i was thinking maybe when they are with the blonde van like that when uh, he won't pick, especially when they are doing them counting and those things. So he will not pick after everything, and you pick and tell me, okay. So I thought that that was it. So I went home. I have a son, so I sent the son to my mom's place at Pick Farm. So I went to pick him, and I was telling my mother since morning because of the exercise, I've not eaten. So we should prepare some food. So when we are about to prepare the food, and a colleague from his workplace called me that oh how are you i said i'm fine how is my brother and i said oh he's fine are you home and i said no please and he said and i said so where is where is Kalis? and i said oh Kalistus, he might be at he might be home because by two they've closed so i'm not home but i think he's home but my phone is spot and he said oh where they got for away shedding what's it so I thought the phone, that was what he said. So immediately, my heart started beating. I tried calling. I called like 10 times. He wasn't picking. So as my mother was speaking to me, my mind was in there. I was just praying. Then my mother said, my mom just had a call. And when we, went, when we saw the number, I asked my mom, mom, what's number? And she said, oh, no number. And I said, then this one is from the police administration. So they said, I want to talk to their wife. And I just said, please, I'm here. They said, can you give me your number? I want to come to your place. And I said, OK. Then I gave them their number. So I called a friend back and said, oh, please, what is it? What is wrong? Please tell me my heart. And he said, everything is under control. So I thought maybe robbery and then maybe they stolen the money. So he has been taken into maybe under investigations or something because I my mind didn't go to death so I was like oh why please tell me oh I know that the bullion va is very risky because he always tells me even if he's going it ask them is the car air conditioned is the car bullet bulletproof if it's not I will not go and they'll tell them oh please are you, are you okay this and this which route what time will we close because i don't i don't i'm always time conscious and they will say oh we will close by two then i happen and those things say okay so when when he, he did that and then the guy said oh everything is under control i said tell me he didn't tell me so i started going through his 
the phone I'm using is his old phone. So his friends, when I just see general constable, general this, general this, inspector, I just call. I was just calling them, just calling all the numbers. And they were saying, everything is under control, everything is under control. I said, ah, what is happening? I said, mom, let's come home. We just came home straight because they said they would come. So when we just came and then uh, my dad, we called my dad and my dad told so that's that okay uh, I said everybody is saying everything is under control every what is happening they should let us know and then my my dad just got that I, I've seen uh, a, I just saw a message and it just popped up my screen that a police officer has been shot at Ablekuma and that is his roots they go to Anya Ablekuma so too so my mother just called me, Amanda, bra, bra, bra. Where does he go for, where does he go for the operations? I said, uh, Ablekuma. I said, and uh, Yekuwa So that was how we heard it. So this, the police administration still didn't tell us. So when it just did that, we just started owning TV and it was all over. It was all over. And the way he was, everything, is, that shows that it's him. I wasn't expecting that at all. I never ever dreamt of him. Though he always tells me that when is your time, no matter what you do, you go. So far as you have done what God wants you to do on this earth, you have accomplished it. And that evening he was saying this because a friend's mother died and she, she he called the friend's mother, uh, the friend to console her and the lady said she's sick. And then the friends, the other, they hung, he, he hung up and then went, was talking with a conference call. And he told them that, hey, and they were asking, your mother has not died, and that's why you're doing that. If your mother dies, you know how it is. He, he was just advising them, see, everybody has a purpose in this life. If it's your time, you go. And what, what he always tells me that, if you, if you die, he... It's not about the death, that's why he's crying. He cries for the soul. He cries for the soul. Because there is judgment after death. And for his Christianity, he doesn't joke. That is 100%. Every morning he goes to work, he kneels down. His rosary is still in his pockets. He kneels down with a gun, pray with a gun, and goes to work. So. Hmm. I'm going to go the and the baby ah, oh, you know, Rose, bomb, pay two or did you mean a bomb, pay go so? And so, ne, yen she, atu yen she ma, atu yen yen brother, ah, yeah, ne day, we just ne bad, just say, oh, kaku inform you, and then ne yiri, just say, omuari, and she ye baby ah, so the money you cry no, obana you cry, ah, so you cry, just say, so I'm about to tutu wash him, go to the juma, and then say, do and you mara, she, I can't put out this, say, you cry for me, just say, just say, then you cry for. Well, who know? I was here for O B N M D A D N M. Say, brother, you must say that but you know, I'm just a dad. I cry a friend. I'm a uncle. Come back, baby, baby, at na. It's an answer. I'm more away. Ed, I'm quite so dear. But say, why wouldn't you be no man? I come here, pa. And it's a complicated one. Now, so so, when you're that way, you're into my mother too. You're my ye. It's an answer. O B N M don't come. What's up, so mommy? Uh huh. But then, any I'm with her, I do both. Chemical TV Chemical TV Chemical TV